So AI engineering is like the new gold rush in programming. More and more companies in 2025 and beyond are requiring AI engineering skills. This is where the highest salaries are, and this is also the best way for you to protect your job as a developer. But you might be wondering, what even is AI engineering? And how can I possibly become an AI engineer if I don't have a complex AI degree or computer science degree or something like that? So in this video, I'm gonna give you a full guide from start to finish on how anyone with some programming skills and a willingness to learn can become become an AI engineer. And I will also explain what it actually means to be an AI engineer, because it's probably a bit different to what you might expect. But before we get into the step-by-step -step process, what even is AI engineering? And also, what is it not? Because when I say AI engineer, you might be imagining like an AI researcher who is building new AI models, who is doing cutting edge AI research. Now those jobs also absolutely exist, but this is not actually what I'm gonna talk about in this video. And what I'm talking about here is a specific type of AI engineer, where rather than creating new AI, you are using existing AI and applying it in existing tech companies. So let's imagine a tech company like Notion, and they want to create an AI into their their software, but they don't know how to apply all of this LLM technology and everything like this into their software. So they hire an AI engineer who is basically just a programmer with the skills to use, for example, the OpenAI API and integrate it into Notion, perhaps do some prompt engineering, perhaps train the model a little bit to create essentially their own AI chatbot. Not through creating a whole new AI model, but utilizing existing AI technology and integrating into their software system. So this doesn't require a ton of super deep knowledge about the internals of how to create AI, but simply programming and essentially software engineering knowledge with some specific knowledge on how to use these systems. So why is this specifically a good field to get into? Well, like we discussed, this doesn't require you to have an advanced degree, yet still it has an incredibly high demand because in case you've been living under a rock, you might have realized that literally every company out there is trying to integrate AI. Like it's to the point where I even find it annoying how much AI is literally everywhere. And I think even in places where AI probably wouldn't be needed, but for you as a programmer, this is an opportunity because every company right now is competing to apply AI to make their products better. And this can be a great way to earn super high salaries and protect your job because these are the programming skills that are most in demand today. So with that out of the way, how do you actually become an AI engineer? Well, step one is simply to learn programming and software engineering foundations. This might sound obvious, but obviously when we're becoming an AI engineer, that is just a type of software engineering, you first need to have a good foundation in programming and software engineering. And specifically, I highly recommend that you choose Python as your programming language. And if you already learned another language, you might wanna learn Python because most of AI programming simply happens in Python. And specifically, you want to first familiarize yourself with simply Python programming, namely variables, functions, control flow, loops, data types, and all of the different basics. And after the basics of programming, you want to learn the basics of software engineering. Specifically, you want to make sure you're familiar with Git and GitHub, and in general, the idea of version control. You want to know how to deploy a project. You want to be familiar with the command line, with installing different packages, as well as ideally also virtual environments, because this is something that is used a lot in AI programming. And after you have completed a couple of projects, you're going to move on to step two, which is learning AI foundations. So the first thing here is that you want to just learn to understand what LLMs are, because a lot of this AI engineering these days is relating to specifically LLMs or a large language model. You want to learn, first of all, what different models are out there, and you want to learn when to use a specific model, because all these different models have slight differences. And you also want to learn a little bit about how these models actually work behind the scenes. And for this, I recommend a great video by 3Blue1 Brown. It is this amazing free maths resource on YouTube that essentially goes behind the scenes and explain how these LLM models are actually built, how they work by essentially predicting the next word. And at this point, you can also read or watch some videos about typical AI concepts that you're gonna run into, specifically AI agents. You wanna learn about vector databases. You wanna learn about retrieval augmented generation. And then also concepts like MCP server. By the way, I also made a free guide on all of this different terminology, explaining it in detail from a programmer's perspective. It's gonna be a video that you can find on this channel, and I'm also gonna link it down below in the description. But before we move on, I need to give you a harsh reality of becoming an AI engineer. So AI engineering is exploding right now, but companies around the world are not just looking for programmers who understand some AI concepts. They're looking for people who can actually build real AI applications. And the best way to learn how to do things with AI is simply through hands-on learning. 
In fact, a meta-analysis from the US National Learning Laboratories found that active hands-on learning can lead to three to four times higher retention than simply passive learning through watching videos or something like that. And that is why I recommend DataCab. And I've recommended it countless of times to people because hands-on interactive learning is what really makes the difference. And that is why I'm also excited that they are sponsoring this video because their associate AI engineer for developers track is one of the fastest ways to go from interested in AI to actually building production ready AI tools. And it fits perfectly with everything I'm teaching you in this roadmap. With DataCab, you write real Python code directly in your browser. And you also get instant feedback as you go. You follow a structured beginner friendly path that teaches you everything an AI engineer actually needs. Namely, for example, core foundations like Python, working with the OpenAI API, embeddings, pine code, vector databases, hands on AI workflows like retrieval, prompt engineering, Langchain, hugging face, and LLM ops. You also get to build real projects, for example, chatbots, summarizers, automation scripts. And when you finish, you're going to also earn an industry recognized AI engineer certification, which you can show on LinkedIn or on your CV. So if I was getting started with learning AI engineering today, the associate AI engineer path by DataCamp is what I would personally choose because it will give you all the things we talk about in this roadmap and is also taught in a way that gives you the skills that employers actually care about. So I will leave a link to this program down below in the description. And with that, let's move on with the roadmap, which brings us to step three, which is to learn to integrate LLMs in code. And a great place to start is to learn how to use the OpenAI API, which basically just allows you to not just use ChatGPT in their own interface, but to integrate it into your own programs. So to get started, you can go to this website, platform.openai.com, which is gonna have some docs. It's gonna have quick start code and things like that for you to get started. You can learn about using different models, how to give input, how to give additional information with these prompts. And then what you want to do is build like a simple chatbot project where you build your own chat interface using React or whatever, which is connected to the ChatGPT API, perhaps with some custom prompt that you give it or something like that, whatever is related to the type of chatbot project that you're building. As an example, I actually built something like this as a freelance project that I was paid for, which is this YouTube coach project where essentially it uses the ChatGPT AI behind the scenes with a lot of custom prompts and instructions for the chatbot. And it's also connected to different instructions and documents and things like this. You also want to learn how to do this, like make some instruction document, learn to connect it so that the chat always has access to it. And after you have done that, you can move on to step four, which is AI frameworks and tools. So there's a couple of frameworks and tools that you want to familiarize yourself with. First of them is Langchain. So it's essentially a tool that allows you to call different AI models and connect them with different data, different tools and logic so that the AI can actually do things, not just chat. So you want to build a couple of projects using Langchain specifically, and there's going to be tutorials on YouTube for you to familiarize yourself with it. And the other one is Hugging Face, which is essentially a platform and like a marketplace of different AI models that you can create that a lot of different people have created. And it also includes a lot of data sets and things like that. So you can go there, find a couple of models, learn to build a couple of projects using them. And there's going to be other ones like Langraph and a few others if you go through the data camp program that they're going to teach you about as well. The next step after that, step five, is using advanced AI concepts. So you remember the list before of the different AI concepts that you wanted to familiarize yourself with. In this step, you want to actually learn how to use them in real projects. So specifically, you want to learn how to build your own AI agent, which is simply an AI that is connected to an LLM, but it also has access to other types of tools, perhaps an agent that can create tasks for you, that can write something for you, that can access a database you have or something like that. You want to build some kind of project that uses your own AI agent. You want to build a project that uses retrieval augmented generation as well as vector databases using Pineco. And then you want to learn how to use MCP servers. So MCP servers are just ways to connect LLMs to different tools. You can go to the official website of MCP servers themselves and they actually include a quite an interesting tutorial where you can go and build your own MCP server. It's going to be a very instructive thing for you to do. You also want to build something using this. And after that, in the final step, you want to familiarize yourself with what is called LLM Ops. So LLM Ops is essentially like the DevOps of AI engineering. And what we're talking about here is that essentially after you have some type of AI system that uses the OpenAI API or Langchain or something like that, anyone who has actually shipped a project that is used by real people will know that there is a lot of essentially 
maintenance that will have to be done when you have a project that is used by real people. So LLM Ops simply deals with the act of maintaining your system when it is used by real people, especially if it's a lot of people. Things like versions, when different versions of the APIs come up, if something goes down, error handling, using tools like Docker and Kubernetes to make your application scalable, testing, rate limiting, protecting certain endpoints, and essentially just overall software architecture, which is really more just about general software engineering skills that you would need to have when working for any big company as a software engineer, simply learning to apply these skills specifically in the context of using a lot of these AI systems. And the goal here is simply to get the software to work reliably when it is used by a lot of real people. And everything that we went through, if you use the DataCam program, all of this is going to be taught in it. So you don't necessarily need to like make yourself a whole plan. But if you for some reason don't want to use it, you're going to use this as a guide, find resources on your own online and make yourself your own plan. I hope that helped you. Again, if you want to see my previous guide, that explains all the AI concepts that are relevant for programmers in a way that you can actually understand it. So you can have like a lay of the land before actually going in and learning to do this yourself. You can watch this video right here. So I think with this video and that video together, you're going to have everything that you need to know to become an AI engineer in 2025 and beyond. With that, good luck. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will see you in the next video.